This is, the, this is what we're here for, the draw. Here we go. Just before you put the balls in the hat, just to mark your cards, by the way, Toronto, in this draw, in this round, but they will not be playing in Canada, so if they get drawn at home, hard luck to those who thought they were on a trip to Toronto. Whoever Toronto get drawn against, they will be at the home of their opponents. So even if they come out first in the hat, out of the hat, then the team that comes out second, they will be the hosts. We'll make that clear as the draw goes on. But the most important job of the night, Stefan, is to make sure every single ball no goes into that bowl. Here we go. So the, the velvet bag is emptied. Pressure is on. Make sure you squeeze the corners. Make sure there's not one hiding up there. Are we happy they're all in there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> 24 balls in there. Let's hope 24 come out. So Stefan Radford of Warrington will be drawing the home teams and Ryan Browley of this field will be drawing the away teams. 20. Is either West Hall or Thato Heath. That match is going to be played this Saturday. Whoever wins will be at home. 22. And they will be at home to Whitehaven. So West Hall or Thato Heath at home to Whitehaven. <coughs> League One side, of course. Whitehaven. Seven. Number seven is Hemel Staggs. Again from League One. Number ten. And they'll be home to London Scholars. So, local derby of sorts. Hemel Staggs against London Scholars in League One. Five. Fryston Warriors, who had a terrific win in the last round from Castle. Number nine. Number nine is Keithley Cougars, so Fryston Warriors will play Keithley Cougars. 19. 19. The University of Gloucester Old Golds, coached as we know by Lee Greenwood. Is he going to be up against his brother? Number 13. Number 13. North Wales Crusaders, he's not, it's an all League One tie. Gloucester against North Wales Crusaders. 12. Number 12, Newcastle Thunder. Up there in the northeast. They lost at this stage last year. Number 23. And they will be against uh, Workington Town. Newcastle Thunder against Workington Town. One of the original Super League sides back in 1996. Number three. Number three, Doncaster. Nobody will fancy a trip to Doncaster. Number 11. But it's Might and Warriors who have to go there. Doncaster. At home to the community side, Mighton Warriors. 16. 16. Siddle. Winners against Piltrex at the weekend. So they get a home tie. Number 18. And they will be up against the Toronto Wolfpack. <laughs> Siddle against the Toronto Wolfpack. What a dream that is for the community boys. Number one. Number one. Barrow Raiders. Number 15. Number 15, Rochdale Mayfield. Barrow Raiders against Rochdale Mayfield. 24. 24, York City Knights. Great to see them competing again this year, York City Knights. Number 4. Against Egremont Rangers from Cumbria. So York against Egremont. 17. 17 is the South Wales Iron Men. Number 14. And they will play against number 14, Oxford. It's another all at League One tie. Number 8. Number 8 is Hunslet, Challenge Cup finalists back in 1965. Number 2. And they will be against Coventry Bears. Hunslet at home to Coventry Bears. Should just be a couple of balls left in there. 21. 21. West's Warriors, the amateur team from London, who had a fantastic 26-0 win at Featherstone Lions in the last round. Number six. And they will be playing Haydock from the North West Men's League. So two of the outstanding results in the last round, and they've drawn each other. What about that draw? What about that draw? I'm going to ask you, first of all, Toronto, Siddle against Toronto. That's a, that's a fairy tale, isn't it? Yeah, certainly. I know obviously the, the boys at the Toronto Wolfpack, they're certainly excited about the Challenge Cup in general and, and how much of a great competition it is and, and how much they want to treat it with respect. And um, I'm sure so there'll be no pushovers there. I think they're, they're quite local in training based, like they, they, they train around the corner. So it um, should be interesting. And uh, I'm sure Paul Rowley will have his, 
have his boys fired up to, to play Siddle. Yeah. Do you give Siddle a chance? Yeah, certainly. It's the Challenge Cup, I suppose. So, yeah, I think everyone got a chance. And a um, lot of watching Siddle at the weekend, it was very impressive. So, I know Paul Oli will uh, be thorough in his preparation and it won't take him for granted. Yeah, I look forward to that. Uh, no, the Challenge Cup itself, I mean, you, you've got some great recent memories, haven't you? Yeah, we've got a couple. Um, you know, one, one really good one, one obviously last year not so good. But, yeah, the, the feeling being down there, you know, the, the whole week of it, not just the day, the whole week and, you know, the preparation that goes into that and, and the way the fans turn out, it's, it's an unbelievable occasion. And, you know, I don't think you'll ever get bored of, of that feeling of, of preparing for a Challenge Cup final. Yeah. Do you touch it? No. No, you're not going to touch I'm it. I'm trying not look at it. Yeah. <laughs> You've got not a piece of silverware, but a big match to come this weekend, or your club has, Warrington. Uh, how are the preparations going for that game? Brisbane on Saturday, of course. Yeah, the boys have had the, the first run out today. They had a bit of a, a recovery day yesterday, obviously, after the Catalan trip. But, um, you know, the boys are, are confident. They're you know, really disappointed from, from the weekend's result. But, you know, this weekend is a, a big chance to, you know, big, make a big statement and... You know, like I said, the, the day's gone well today and hopefully we can continue that through the week and, and put in a big performance on Saturday. Yeah, you were admiring the uh, the 4G pitch that, that Siddle were playing on last weekend at, at Pilks and you played on the 4G pitch. A witness great start for Huddersfield. Yeah, certainly. I think it was mentioned before the game. It took us six games last year to get on the, get on the board. Uh, I think more than psychologically than anything, and to get to start the season with two points is, is massive. But I say nothing's achieved in February, so um, there's a lot of our work to do. and. Again, it starts on it starts on Thursday night against Salford. Yeah, yeah. You've got to take finally. You've got to take your hats off to the amateur lads as well that we've seen in the live stream games because you've had your pre seasons and now you're into your season. They're not even started the season yet. They're still in pre season, so the fitness levels are fantastic, aren't they? Yeah, it's brilliant watching them. You know, they you know they go out work nine to five and then have to turn up on a on a Tuesday night in the rain running around. But you know, I'm sure the chance of you know having a good crack at a you know a championship team or championship one team in in a Challenge Cup it certainly drives them on and. Actually, I know it's hard work from, but it's something they, they really enjoy doing. OK, well, let's just remind ourselves of the draw for the third round. And one of these games will be streamed on the BBC website a week on Saturday. That's the way it comes out. West Hull or Thato Heath Crusaders against Whitehaven. West Hull and Thato Heath, their game was cancelled last week. So they have to play this Saturday to get the honour of playing Whitehaven at home. Hemel Stags, uh, Hemel Stags, I should say, against London Scholars. Fryston Warriors against Keithley Cougars. The University of Gloucestershire All Golds against North Wales Crusaders, two of the longest names in the competition. Newcastle Thunder against Workington Town. Doncaster against Might and Warriors. Siddle against the Toronto Wolfpack and Barrow Raiders against uh, Rochdale Mayfield. And um, the rest of the draw is like this. Great, great draw that for Siddleys. I'm sure they're still cheering in the clubhouse there at Halifax. The rest of the draw um, is York City Knights against Egremont Rangers, South Wales Ironmen against Oxford, Hunslet against Coventry Bears, and West Warriors against Haydock. And those matches to be played on February the 25th and the 26th of, uh, of February, so that's just a week on Saturday, and one of those matches, as we said, live-streamed on the BBC website. Thanks to Ryan, thanks to Stefan as well. Good luck to both of you for the rest of the season, and we'll see you very soon. Goodbye.